Hello to all members of the Prime Nation. I am thrilled to announce the new visual theme editor, which allows you to build your own custom themes on the fly, directly integrated within the showcase. There's a new icon here. It's more visible in the dark mode due to the um, uh, animation. Now let's open it. It asks for the base theme to choose. We have four built-in themes, Aura, Meta, Lara, Nora. Let's start with Aura. If you come back a week later after editing, you can continue doing uh, your customizations using the restore from local storage. Also, you'll be able to import your Figma tokens exported from your Figma file, import it here, and it will generate an um, uh, actual theme file. This one is planned as a pro feature for the uh, Figma UI kit users, which is also an, an, an add-on. So primitive tokens are the ones that uh, that, that they are shared, but they have no context, like rounded and colors, and you don't know what, where they're used. Semantic tokens, they have a context. They usually use uh, primitive tokens time to time as well, and they're usually consumed by compound tokens. Compound tokens are not available right now. It's coming up very soon. I'm working on it. And the custom tokens are the ones where you can able to, where you are able to provide your own tokens. Let's some, come up with semantic because most of the time, if you're happy with the way theme looks, you can just maybe like maybe 80 percent. You can uh, this this tool will do the job until the component tokens arrive. That one will allow you know further customization because you can customize each component one by one. So let's customize the you know this color and the primary color and now the general ones you know these are field sets so that you can customize your UI you know add more spacing so the common border radius the focus rings and so on let's start with the um, input text because the forms have their shared uh, here have their shared tokens now increase um, the paddings and add more rounded borders and nice thing about it is that if the token if the value starts with the curly brace it means a token and it an autocomplete is displayed of course you can just use common uh, values here as well like this and now the input focus rings and so on for example let's try this one Two pixels, solid, uh, primary color, and offset. Maybe two pixels. Yeah, you can see that here. Let's move it inside because I've seen that design time to time. Now it's inside. You can make it a bit thicker, and so on. Uh, list containers are quite fun. Uh, for example, here we have. You know, of course, you have to uh, watch out for your um, design. Let's, for example, make this border radius something like this. And lists have their padding at the top. Let's remove the second one. Now they're here. Option padding can be maybe increased. A bit for a bigger UI and let's remove the border radius of that now we have we have something like this and the navigations are for the menus so that you can do the menus and let's start with the overlays now the overlay border radius is here maybe you can customize the shadows of the selects and the popovers you know, overlay, um, popovers are like the popover component, the password overlays, anything that's anchored. Model are for dialog and sidebar, and navigation is the you know overlay menus. And now another nice thing about it is that you can easily customize your surface colors here, something like this. And for example, let's check out overlay background to something like this. And the overlays have this, you know, gray tone. Um, we can also, for example, lists hover, you know, this hover background, that would be the focus background. Um, actually, we can do something like this, for example, primary 
500 here so that you can use the primary colors for hovering you can easily come up with your own custom tokens which i will show right now and let's switch to the dark mode to see how we can customize surface colors there now let's go to semantic let me close this up and you can easily break this i mean by choosing some wrong colors of course but if you like to do things like that you can of course maybe it more darker might look better uh, not so much of course you need to spend more time on this guys okay now um you know the form fills the backgrounds uh let me go back to the light mode input text is here maybe select so here we have uh, i'd like to increase maybe the contrast a bit now we have uh, for example what we have uh, input background you know you can change the input backgrounds and make the typographic colors more accessible and surface colors the border colors and so on and if you spend more time on this hopefully it will generate a better team than than i i did and custom tokens are also interesting because now we can let's create a custom color like uh, selection or let's call it accent you know if you have the primary and you have uh, the color accent background or accent color uh, we can make this red add new one accent contrast color white so that you can maybe use the accent color for background and the contrast color for the texts you click save uh, for example let's go to the selection here in the color scheme we have the lists highlights right so we can use accents here and select its background contrast colors and now if you select something it will be now it has the focus of course but um, for example this one is the focus and that one is the highlight color so and you can also customize further by adding the colors for what happens if the item is selected and focused so that everything is there but what is missing right now i will create a new video of course after this is done the compound tokens so the idea is that when you visit the select page the tokens of the select will be here and you will see that they are usually bind to the form fields here they are for example the padding of the select is bound to the form fields base so that we can reuse this but of course you can easily customize it per component and that feature is coming up very very soon now if you download this it gives you a file and it is here now if we open this let me get it here and then open my vs code and here i have if you visit the teaming demystified series this is the application and okay now here is the token file uh, let me get this preset and here i can have my options here preset this is the preset generated by the team it's my preset and uses um, aura now if you if i replace it my preset it should you know um, use the team generated so let's see okay this is the defined preset for example we had this emerald colors and primary colors like more selector okay let's try okay it's here now you can see the dark mode is here and this is the one uh, for example let me change it to something like this here you can just re-download this one changed here and your team is applied here so that you can play with it 
you know, the bigger paddings, everything was included. Now the, the focus rings and so on. So the tool is new, uh, but it actually helps a lot to learn more about how the design token-based theming architecture, which we call the cutting edge, uh, top-notch uh, theming, uh, and it's, it's quite modern. And it is tightly integrated with the Figma UI kit, so that if, you're, if you are working with a designer, we definitely uh, suggest using this tool, uh, of course, uh, so that you can just generate these themes directly from Figma. Otherwise, you have to, as a developer, during the handoff process, you have to, you know, find each token one by one, which can be, you know, automated, and so that you can easily uh, import the token file, token studio file, the tool will generate the theme and you can download it. Otherwise, it will take a lot of time to do it. So that, uh, this tool also solves that problem. All right, um, the next video about this will be when the component tokens arrive. And of course, there will be a third video when the to Figma tokens arrive. So stay tuned for the team editor. And as I mentioned, this will be available for Prime AMG 18, starting with RC2, Prime Rack 11, and Prime U. Right now, it's on. Thank you for joining me and see you on the component tokens.